woke up on the shit side of the bed this morning. I love you. This is over two hours long. Am I delusional? Girls, you're not coming. Do you want to go get lunch? Find the balance of work and motherhood. I was so optimistic. My food is obviously cold. Fun and also more challenging for me. <laughs> Thank you. Just really doesn't work. Hey. Oh, I'm definitely gonna edit. Trying to keep him a secret. I know I'm gonna regret not going back to bed. Hey. Hi, good morning. I had no intent on vlogging today, but honestly, I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> oh, this kid, man, I love him so much. He can sleep long stretches. I know he can, and he did it. And then we had a little bit of the four month sleep regression. And last night, like I can't fault him at all because we were woken up at one o'clock by you and you, because they saw a deer outside and Fancy barked and Poppy bolted towards a freaking window, which then of course scared the crap out of me. So then I had to come out here to be like, what the heck are we barking at? Is there an intruder? I knew there was an intruder, I know it was a deer, but like, you know, still in the middle of the night, that's where your mind goes. So that was at one. Eh, that was like 1.30 because I was up until after two because then I gave him a bottle, did all of the stuff. And then he woke up two hours later because he pooped. Can't fault him for that. And then he woke up two hours later because he had to poop again. Waking up every other hour is not fun. And quite frankly, I haven't slept through the night in like over a year because even in my pregnancy, I wasn't sleeping through the night. And I woke up this morning just like frustrated. And cause I had to come out here like the second time or the third time he woke up, I had to come out here to get a bottle because I didn't have enough bottles back there, which is ridiculous because I went to bed with four bottles. And Poppy was like jumping so excited to see me and I was just like not in the mood. I was like, just leave me alone. <laughs> and I hate that because I love these puppies so much. I love you guys so much. And I just know like I woke up on the shit side of the bed this morning. <sighs> so instead of going back to sleep, which I feel like I should have done, I said, you know what, Catherine? We're gonna do something we haven't done in a very long time. We're going to read. And I really wanna take this vlog as an opportunity not to prove to myself because I know that I can do this, but like you can wake up with a shit attitude. You can have a terrible night's sleep. You can maybe have a really, really bad day the night before or not the night before, the day before, but like it's all your mindset. It's all your attitude. Like you can take control of your day and you can make it the best day ever. And like, that's what we're doing this year is we're making this the best year ever. So I have got several books right here. I was so funny. I was so optimistic. My like last few weeks of pregnancy, I was like, oh, I'm gonna order books because instead of watching TV, I'm gonna read. I think I've read one time since he was born, like besides kids books to him. So I have got a stack. Okay, well you deserve this shit. I started this in the beginning of the year, last year, and then the writing style just was not for me and I could not get through it. So that book I just kind of like need to put away. Eight Rules of Love. Uh, my mom is actually reading this book right now. We were talking about it on the phone yesterday. I started this one again. Some of you may know the reason why. Never finished it. So then some of these other ones were actually a recommendation from my man. These three were a recommendation from my man. This one we won't discuss. But I kind of, I don't know, I've got some other ones. But I'm like, what am I even in the mood for? Like, what is the creative act? How is this written? Nothing in this book is known to be true. It's a reflection on what I've noticed, not facts so much as thoughts. Wait, where's my girlfriend? Girlfriend. Okay, this is the book that I have been reading for a while and I need to finish it. Catherine, read this. Okay, here we go. Let's go. We're going. We're doing it. Oops, I hit my computer. We're out of here. Alexa, turn on the Christmas tree. I read three essays this morning. And as you can hear, someone is awake. I did think about it though. So I'm on essay 21 and I was like, if I read three essays a day, because now there's 79 essays left. I'm like, I could finish this in 
a month. But the problem is, is like the next essay goes from page 105 to page 119 and that's only one. So it's like, I read three essays today and I was like, oh, that's quick and easy. I could definitely do this. And then I was like, I can't do it. Cause then the next one is only like one and a half pages. So maybe I should actually break it down by like page number, but I feel like by essay, I just, I really want to get back into reading. I used to be so, so good with my reading and it really does help me mentally. Cause it's just like good reminders. Like I feel like at this point, I just know like so many different mindset tricks and things. And like really my mindset is usually in the right place in the right direction, but it is nice to have a reminder. I know I'm gonna regret not going back to bed. you the last time I've made waffles I haven't made them since I've been in this house which means it's been like a year and a half so first let's just a nice little dusting of the top of this let me clean in here too I mean I feel like since this was closed it should be clean he is just staring up at the screen it's gonna be so much fun when he gets a little bit older and he honestly like he knows what the phone is now and like taking pictures of him I'm like how do you already know you're so freaking young but I feel like it's gonna be really fun once he realizes like what my camera is fun and also more challenging for me <laughs> salty and sweet breakfast oh my gosh I have not made eggs and waffles and so <laughs> oh my gosh wow I needed this this morning um I just took a nap wow I brought my computer in here because I was like oh I'm definitely gonna edit and then as soon as he fell asleep, I was like, you are a fool if you do not nap right now as well. So I actually think I napped a little bit longer than him because I woke up to a little bit like fussy, huh? He usually doesn't immediately get fussy when he wakes up. Like he's fine just like chilling a little bit by himself and then he'll get mad like, hey, why are you not coming to get me? Huh? So I probably slept longer than you. I probably did. But that, do I have like, I can't even tell if I have, I feel it though, right? Do I have marks on my face? I was out. 10 out of 10 though. Great idea. You are getting so good at specifically grabbing things. The way you just touched this little zipper, I'm really proud of you. You're so good. It's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go 
get lunch? Oh, I think we should get out of the house today. We're just gonna go through the drive-thru, so <laughs> this is the fit. Girls, you're not coming. I love you guys so much. I love you both so much, but I'll be back, okay? We're not gonna be gone really that long. Hi, can I get a single burger with no cheese? Can I also do the granddaddy fries? Uh, can I also get a Coke? And then that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. This is truly just motherhood, but we got home an hour ago. <laughs> At this point, I tried to put him down for a nap and he wasn't having it, and then I gave him a bottle, and <sighs> my food is obviously cold. Very, very cold. If I just eat this burger, I'll be happy. I was originally gonna puzzle and just like chill during this nap, but I didn't realize it's almost two o'clock. <laughs> well, I mean, now it's almost two o'clock and I desperately need to do some work. Like I am supposed to have a YouTube video go up tomorrow. Haven't even looked at the footage. And I have got 97 files from the last video. Oh my gosh. This is over two hours long. Am I delusional? What did I film? one hour later and he just woke up. I was able to edit a reel, post it on Instagram, post it on LTK, share it to my Instagram stories, and it's currently uploading and processing on YouTube. When I first uploaded it, it said it was a minute and one second long, so then it went uploaded as a video instead of a short, and I was like, that's not... I don't even understand how that happens, because like in the editor, when you go to upload it, it says like 60 seconds, and like you can cry. I just don't really understand. Hi! Anyway, now that you're up, I can finish uploading it to YouTube with you awake. That's not a big deal. What do you want to do now that you're up? Huh? What do you want to do? Oh my goodness. I love seeing your happy face. I mean, I love just seeing your face in general, but you're always so happy from a nap. I love you. I'm gonna see this glass here. I desperately need water. Oh. <laughs> It is so frustrating. I wonder if I have any water. Well, I should adjust this. That is bright in my actual. Let me go and get that cutie. Can you grab your toy? Can you grab it? So I have, I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys. I might have. My sink situation. This guy right here is filtered water, which is really nice. That was actually, I mean, the plan the whole time. I didn't want a fridge that had a water. So there are fridges that have like a hidden water spout or a water spout inside of it. This set I was looking at only came with an option of it being on the outside, like right on the front. And I just, <laughs> you just did that. I did not love the look of that. It's not what I wanted for my kitchen. So I was like, if I'm gonna custom do this whole entire thing, baby, let's just put a filtered water thing on the sink, which is great. It's nice to have water just like on tap, filtered. You would think what we think is happening is too much water is flushing in too fast and then it shuts it off. So you have to like so, so slowly open the spout so that it doesn't overload. And it's just such a pain in the butt because like I opened it slowly and it just shut and it doesn't work. It's a pain. Okay, this is all clean. What's going on, cutie? I did have someone leave me a comment the other day, which was so sweet. They said something along the lines of they like the way that I've shared motherhood while also like keeping him private and like keeping my content relevant to me and not just him and I gotta say it's getting harder and harder and I know the more he's actually active oh no you're not about this life what if I put you in your bouncer do you want to be in your bouncer or do you just want cuddles huh let's let's try your bouncer let's try that Oh, are you still tired? Is that what's going on? That was a big yawn there. 
the more he has like longer wake windows and is more active and like doing things, I just know it's gonna become increasingly more difficult for me. And my goal is to just share like my side of things motherhood wise. Like I'm not trying to keep him a secret. Like you're here, huh? You are a big part of my life. And there's no hiding that, there's no denying it. But I also just like don't wanna share every single milestone of like the first time he smiled and when he giggled and even, I mean, maybe I'll share when he rolls over and like actually starts walking and stuff, but it's like, I don't want to blast your life online. You know, I'm okay with blasting my life online. That is my choice. If you want to in the future, you can, okay? You choose this career. I am so curious. Like, is this gonna be a career by the time he's all grown up? You know, cool. It's probably gonna look really, really different if it is still a career. But even then, would it look different? Any, there's gonna be like different platforms and stuff. The reason why I started sharing this is because I obviously only had an hour to myself so far today because I chose to take a nap earlier. But it's, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to find the balance of work and motherhood and there's some days where I feel like I'm absolutely crushing it and I'm like I could push out more content I could make more short form videos let's up the like uploading schedule to two times a week on YouTube with like my longer form I can't do that like I just get like this like random wave of insane confidence where I feel like I'm crushing it and that's honestly like I know I've shared this before short form content I have one broke sock there's not a match to it Short form content has been so nice during this season because I feel like I can push out so much more of that because if I have only an hour long nap, like I can edit and publish and do everything I need in that one hour and then filming is quick and easy throughout the day and I can do that while he's awake or while he's asleep. But editing a YouTube video obviously takes so much longer and I've been against hiring an editor for such a long time because I genuinely like I love editing and I was like, why would I outsource something that I honestly enjoy about my job but I'm now getting to the point where I just have so much less time and I know I could produce so much more content if I had an editor because filming is not the problem it's finding the time to edit because like when he's awake I don't want to be really in front of my computer and editing I don't mind filming when he's awake but it's just even in moments like this, I mean, if I had my phone out right now, the amount of reels I have edited just like this while feeding him, it's so much easier than like actually pulling out my computer, editing. I think I'm like sharing all of this because like for the first time I'm like actually considering an editor might be good for me. Uh, I can't believe it. 